Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Ormsby Farm and Vlogmas 2023. This is day seven. Oh my gosh. Y'all, let me just like sit and toot my own horn for a minute that I've actually put a video out for seven days straight um, on just my day-to-day -day stuff because anybody that remembers me the last holiday, I went real ghost because I was dealing with a lot of mental... Uh, I guess you could say depression and anxiety and that kind of stuff last Christmas. So I did not post back until probably about February, March. Um, so this year, I'm so excited that Monica challenged me into doing this Vlogmas where you post every day for 25 days of Christmas because it kind of held me accountable. And y'all, one of these days, I'm going to dress a little bit more Christmassy on this video, but right now it's a little chilly and I'm heading to the chicken coop to move around hay and poop and feed them. So we're not going to look cute, but today on the today's video, tonight I will be heading in. We have our first full run through dress rehearsal, tech rehearsal of the Nutcracker. Again, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show. Um, I'm going to show as much as I can, but when the live video link of the performance comes out, I will be posting that on my community page. And then after that, we have our choir rehearsal for Christmas Eve service. So it's a busy day tonight. I'm doing a lot of baking um, because tomorrow is when we're going to start doing a market outside of our farm. Um, so getting that stuff done. Yep. You hear Big Daddy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into Vlogmas and we'll start off by checking on the chickens and the turkeys. Who we got over here? Ah, oh, there's <laughs> Andy and Angel. Yes, Big Dad. Finish your food, sir. All right, y'all two, you want to come in and go back to your condo? Come on, Ed. He's so cute. That's my boy. Come on. Y'all go get your breakfast. Got to let the other girls out. All right, here are the other girls. Trying to find leftover corn. They're finding it, too. Pretty much talked about it on all the other videos, but basically what I'm going to be doing is the nesting boxes. I'm going to be taking that out and cutting it in half. So I'll leave maybe four in this one and put three in the other one. We'll kind of move all this around because the girls aren't really laying in it. And I think it's because of this. And I need to take it out so I can actually pull it off and rip it off and not be confined in here. Um, but Andy and Angel, my two Easter eggers over there, will move into this area here. They'll move into this because I'll be adding more chickens as I hatch them in here. And the four girls, my four gangsters, they don't get along with anybody. So they're gonna go, and since they come out every day and stay out, um, they're gonna be moving into the smaller condo, which is where they'll sleep at night. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yes, Big Dad, we see you. I'm gonna come over and say hello to you too. Come here, Big Dad, come on. Say hello to everybody. The princess, there's Big Daddy. And she hasn't started with the eggs yet, but this probably won't come until spring. And I'm... <laughs> Is it one of y'all? Oh no, you don't want to make it? No eggs today, so far. Now maybe when I come to put them back in before I leave, um, there'll be some more eggs, but there's none right now, but it was cold last night. So I'm just kind of like, some days it's three, some days it's one, some days it's zero. Uh, again, another thing that I will probably be doing on Vlogmas is half, I'll walk to about right where the coop starts back into that pole. I will be doing um, 
a hog panel double fence. Um, and then this will be the turkeys area. Um, because they're my breeders, I just want to make sure that nobody gets in fights. Nobody does, you know what, that they're not supposed to do. Um, so they'll be in their little pin area. And I'm going to build that. And I'm going to build a door so that they can go out into the their run and go back and forth each um, every day. Um, and then Andy and Angel will move to the big mansion, I call it. And they will stay in there. They don't really like going out. Even when they go out, they go and they hide in a corner. And they don't really do anything. The other four girls love going out. So that's why I'm switching them from the ha main house to the condo. Um, and then I'll have aviationating so that all the girls can go in this if they so well please. Um, so yeah, that will be the four girls. Um, and then of course, on, I don't know if it will be on Vlogmas, but that we're going to clear out. Um, I am, I decided I am going to keep the um, fencing roof to it. And in the back area, instead of a pig, that is where I'm going to have my American breasts baby mama and baby daddies uh, that will produce eggs for meat chickens and then the very front will be another tom and probably two hens turkeys um that will be more of my meat turkey breed so there will be a little l shaped at the front and when i do that i'll show y'all um i'll show y'all on the video and then the very back part um will be a ton of room for the chicks to live their best life all the time and there's a door for me to get in and out and so on and so forth so that is kind of the goal plan i'm actually well let me walk you over here over here is where i will have i think they're 30 feet by 10 feet they're actually dog kennels but i'm going to use them as chicken tractors um and we're going to get it probably early spring to raid meat chickens. I think this year I'm gonna go ahead and just do a batch of Cornus Cross um, because my American breast won't be old enough yet to lay. Ooh, what is that lighting? Let me, there we go. Oh my goodness gracious, alive. Um, but behind me, this is where mom's homestead was going to be. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the two 30 by 10 kennels and that is where we will raise meat turkeys and meat chickens. So we'll start that next year. That's one of our big ventures next year. And I'm also getting a small shed, which will be kind of like my um, incubator area for baby, baby chicks and baby turkeys. Last year, I had them inside of my mudroom and the smell was just awful and I couldn't host any parties or anything. So I'm actually buying a shed. I saw that Sarah and Kevin did that on, at Living Traditions Homestead. They raised theirs in kind of like a shed barn kind of thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll show you the area where I'm gonna put it. All of the supplies that I'm gonna be getting and using is on Amazon and will be in the storefront. Um, I'll make another little section for raising of chickens, the meat birds, and I'll put all the stuff in there. But this over here on the back side of my house, is already like a brick foundation. I don't know if you can kind of see it, even though grass has grown over it. Um, and that is where I'm gonna put this shed. The shed is probably a smaller one of the sheds. I think it is six by eight, I think. It may even be five by six, um, but it will fit perfectly right here. I'll have electricity run from my house so that we can have a heat lamp and all that kind of stuff they need before they'll go out to their main coops. So that's basically the process for our meat animals, meat birds, starting next year. Um, so let's go in and get started. It is so not Monday. So now I gotta figure out why that just kicked on because normally it does a test, but that means our power has gone out for some reason. So let me go on and see what's happening. This is weird. Why did the generator kick on? Because electricity just went off. I don't know if it's back on or not. No, it, the generator would turn off. Yeah. Don't waste the water because remember, no, you have whatever's in there. Oh, great, y'all. I'm not gonna do bacon and we don't even have no water. Let me 
get off this vlog for a second. All righty, y'all. Oh, the sun's bright. So I am heading in now to Milledgeville. So tonight is the first full run through um, with costumes and makeup and uh, tech and lights and all that kind of stuff for the Nutcracker. So again, I will try to show you as much as I can, um, but I don't know how much I'll be able to show because I don't have a pocket in most of my costumes. So I'm gonna try, but Again, I will make sure that I have the link of the live performance posted. Um, it's this weekend, y'all. I can't believe it's this weekend already. Okay, so here I'm off. I got about 40 minutes to drive and I need to get gas, which is story of my life. Um, and then I'll see y'all in Millage <laughs> Running late as always. Trying to figure out where we have to go in. Oh God, y'all. So I'm out of the costume. I need to show much. It is so heavy, y'all. It's so hot. I'm already sweating most of the stuff off. But let's go ahead, and I gotta head over to choir, and then we're gonna wrap this up for this vlog. Ooh, it's hot. I'm just in Spanx, y'all. Just in Spanx. Ooh, in my dress. Y'all see my dress around? Alrighty, and here's chapter seven, a couple verses from the book of Luke. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me, and heareth my saying, and doth them, and I will shew you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built an house, and dig deep, and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the steam beat upon the house, and should not shake it, for it's founded upon a rock. But he that heareth, and doeth not, is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Alrighty, y'all, I hope all of y'all have a wonderful day and happy Vlogmas. Y'all be blessed. I'll see you on the next episode.